We're preparing for all outcomes and stepping up our work in relation to no deal preparation, but we still firmly are intent on securing the deal, securing that positive deal for our country, to create jobs, to see our economy grow, to have that long-term arrangement with our European allies. But I recognise that there are legal and political assurances that are required particularly over the issues of the Northern Ireland Ireland border to safeguard that. That is what the Prime Minister is now doing in her discussion with European leaders at the European Council today. We want to see that delivery so that we can come back to the House of Commons and actually have that deal pass through the Commons because profoundly that's what delivers on certainty and stability, allows us to deliver on that Brexit deal, to get on with all of those other things that we know need to be delivered for our country, how this does that and how I support the Prime Minister in getting those assurances, those clarifications, those legal issues dealt with for my Conservative colleagues as well as colleagues in the DUP. I think what the Prime Minister is underlining is that need for that further clarification, those assurances, those issues of the legal matters that have been of concern for colleagues here in Parliament. That's what the Prime Minister is determined to do. And obviously now moving forward with that confidence that she's been given by my party to get on with that job. I know that she will be resolute in bringing this back in that way. Yes, there are discussions that need to take place with our European leaders, how she'll want to do that firmly and carefully, and I have every confidence that she will do so, so that we can secure this deal in the best interest of our country, deliver on Brexit, deliver on what people voted for and taking back control of our money, our borders and our laws, and as well as assuring that free and open border in Northern Ireland, which is profoundly what this insurance policy is all about, but equally knowing that it is temporary, getting the assurances around that, making that work, and therefore responding to the concerns that I know are there to make this deal come to fruition. Now, the Prime Minister has been given a vote of confidence by the Conservative Party. I think that gives her now this opportunity to get on with the job of delivering on Brexit, on delivering for our country. She obviously did say that she would only serve for as long as the party wanted her to serve. How she did want to serve through to the next general election and beyond, but will only be there for as long as colleagues want to be, and knowing that some people would like to see a different leader for that election. But no, I think that she has a, actually a sense of renewed purpose now to be able to move forward for our country, for our party, deliver on Brexit, deliver on those domestic agenda items that I know matter to her so much, how public service, that sense of delivering for our country is profoundly at her core and how I know that she will be getting on with that job, delivering, delivering for our country, delivering on Brexit and I have every support for her in doing that.